Hey there, coin enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. If you're a collector or just curious about the fascinating world of rare coins, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into the top six ultra-rare Kennedy half-dollar coins. We'll explore their history, unique features, and of course, their value. So let's get started. 1971. Today, we're exploring the 1971 Kennedy half-dollar, a coin that's both rich in history and a favorite among collectors. So, let's get started. The Kennedy Half Dollar was first minted in 1964, following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963. It quickly became a symbol of national pride and remembrance. After the initial release, the coin underwent several changes, but in 1971, something significant happened. Let's zoom in on that year. The 1971 Kennedy Half Dollar marked the end of the silver content in these coins. Prior to 1971, Kennedy half dollars were made of 40% silver, but starting in 1971, they were produced with a copper nickel clad composition. This change was due to the rising cost of silver and a shift in U.S. minting policies. Now, let's talk value. The value of a 1971 Kennedy half dollar depends on several factors, including its condition, mint mark, and whether it has any errors. Generally, circulated coins are worth around 50 cents to a dollar, which is their face value or slightly above. For those of you who are new to coin collecting, pay special attention to the coin's condition. Uncirculated coins, or those in mint state, can be worth significantly more. An MS65 grade 1971 Kennedy half dollar, for example, can fetch between $10 to $20. 1973. The Kennedy half dollar was first introduced in 1964 following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The coin was quickly embraced by the public as a tribute to the beloved president. But what makes the 1973 Kennedy half dollar particularly interesting? The obverse features a profile of President Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts. The reverse, designed by Frank Gasparro, showcases the presidential seal, with a heraldic eagle holding an olive branch and arrows. The 1973 Kennedy half dollar was struck in both Philadelphia and Denver, with the P&D mint marks, respectively. Additionally, there were proof versions minted in San Francisco, marked with an S. These proof coins were part of the annual proof set sold to collectors. So what about the value of these coins? The value of a 1973 Kennedy half dollar can vary significantly based on its condition and mint mark. For circulated coins, their value is primarily based on the silver content, which is zero for 1973, as these coins are made of a copper nickel clad. However, for collectors, the key is in the coin's condition, and whether it's a regular issue or a proof coin. A typical circulated 1973 Kennedy half dollar might be worth around 50 cents to a dollar. However, uncirculated coins, especially those with an S mint mark or high grade proof coins, can fetch a higher price. An uncirculated P or D coin can be worth $3 to $5, while a proof S coin in perfect condition could be worth $5 to $10. The proof sets from 1973 are also quite popular among collectors. These sets typically include a Kennedy half dollar along with other denominations from that year. A complete 1973 proof set can range in value from $10 to $20, depending on its condition. 1973 was a tumultuous year in American history with events like the Watergate scandal and the end of the Vietnam War. These historical contexts add an extra layer of significance to coins minted during this period. In summary, while the 1973 Kennedy half dollar may not be the rarest coin, its historical significance and beautiful design make it a worthwhile addition to any collection. Whether you're looking to complete a set or simply appreciate the artistry, this coin has a lot to offer. 1977 Kennedy half dollar the Kennedy half dollar has been a staple in American coinage since it was first minted in 1964, honoring President John F. Kennedy after his assassination. The 1977 Kennedy half dollar, while not particularly rare, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Let's explore why. First, a bit of history. 1977 was a year marked by significant events Atar Wars premiered in theaters, Jimmy Carter was inaugurated as president, and Apple Computer was incorporated. Against this backdrop, the U.S. Mint continued its tradition of producing the Kennedy half-dollar. 
On the obverse side of the 1977 Kennedy half dollar, you'll see the iconic profile of President Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts. On the reverse, we have the presidential seal, designed by Frank Gasparro. Both designs have remained largely unchanged since the coin's inception. The 1977 Kennedy half dollar was minted in two locations, Philadelphia and Denver, with no mint mark for Philadelphia and a D for Denver. Over 43 million were minted in Philadelphia and nearly 32 million in Denver, making it a common coin in terms of mintage numbers. So how much is a 1977 Kennedy half dollar worth today? Let's break it down. In circulated condition, these coins are typically worth just their face value of 50 cents. However, for coins in uncirculated condition or with special attributes, the value can be higher. For instance, a 1977 Kennedy half dollar in uncirculated condition can fetch between $2 and $5. Coins graded MS65 can go for around $25. And if you happen to have a proof coin from the 1977 proof set, those can be valued at $4 to $10, depending on the condition. Proof coins are particularly special because of their high quality finish and sharper details. The 1977 proof Kennedy half dollar was minted in San Francisco and bears the S mint mark. These were sold as part of proof sets to collectors and were not intended for general circulation. 1979 half dollar. The 1979 Kennedy half dollar. Let's start with a bit of history. The Kennedy half dollar was first minted in 1964, shortly after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. This coin was intended as a tribute to the beloved 35th President of the United States. The obverse or front of the coin features the profile of John F. Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts. The reverse showcases the presidential seal, designed by Frank Gasparro. But what makes the 1979 Kennedy half dollar particularly interesting? By 1979, the composition of the Kennedy half dollar had changed. Originally made from 90% silver in 1964, and then 40% silver from 1965 to 1970, the coin switched to a copper nickel clad composition starting in 1971. This makes the 1979 coin common in terms of material, but there are still some special aspects to consider. One key point is the mint mark. 1979 Kennedy half dollars were minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Coins minted in San Francisco, marked with an S, are proof coins and often have a higher value, especially if they are in pristine condition. The value of a 1979 Kennedy half dollar largely depends on its condition and mint mark. Circulated coins are typically worth their face value of 50 cents. However, uncirculated coins and proofs can be worth more. For instance, a high-grade uncirculated coin might fetch around $2 to $3, while proof coins from the San Francisco Mint can range from $4 to $10, depending on their condition. Grading plays a crucial role in determining a coin's value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor P1 to perfect uncirculated MS70. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. It's always a good idea to have your coins professionally graded if you believe they might be in excellent condition. Protecting your coins is also important. Storing them in a cool, dry place and using protective holders can prevent damage and preserve their value. And there you have it. The 1979 Kennedy half dollar is a coin with a rich history and varying value depending on its condition and mint mark. It's a wonderful piece for any collection and a great way to remember an important era in American history. 1985. The Kennedy half dollar was first introduced in 1964 just months after the tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy, it was designed as a tribute to the beloved president and quickly became a symbol of national mourning and remembrance. Designed by Gilroy Roberts and Frank Gasparro, the obverse features a striking profile of JFK, while the reverse displays the presidential seal. The 1985 Kennedy half dollar is part of this long-standing series, which has seen various changes over the decades. Now, Let's talk about the specifics of the 1985 Kennedy half dollar. This coin was minted in Philadelphia and Denver, with no mint marks for Philadelphia coins and a D for Denver ones. Unlike its silver predecessors from the 1960s, the 1985 version is composed of a copper nickel clad, with an inner layer of pure copper. In terms of mintage, over 18 million of these coins were struck in Philadelphia, 
and over 19 million in Denver. Despite these high numbers, the coin holds a special place among collectors, especially those focusing on the Kennedy series. When it comes to value, circulated 1985 Kennedy half dollars are typically worth their face value minus 50 cents. However, uncirculated coins or those in exceptionally good condition can fetch a bit more from collectors. Typically, an uncirculated 1985 Kennedy half dollar might be valued between $1 and $5, depending on its condition. For those looking to invest in or sell these coins, consider getting them graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. A high-grade coin, especially one with an MS65 rating or above, can be significantly more valuable. 1989 Now, let's talk about the 1989 edition. This coin is part of a series that has been in continuous production since 1964. By 1989, the composition of the half dollar had changed from its original 90% silver to a copper nickel clad composition, which began in 1971. On the obverse, you'll find the iconic profile of John F. Kennedy, designed by Gilroy Roberts. The reverse features the presidential seal, designed by Frank Gasparro. The intricate details in the eagle and shield, along with the surrounding stars, make this coin a work of art. One common question is about the value of the 1989 Kennedy half dollar. In circulated condition, it's generally worth its face value of 50 cents. However, uncirculated coins and those in mint condition can be more valuable. Uncirculated 1989 Kennedy half dollars can range from $1 to $5, depending on their condition and whether they have any special characteristics, such as being part of a mint set or having an exceptional strike quality. Proof versions, which were produced in limited quantities for collectors, can be worth even more, typically between $3 to $10. When evaluating your 1989 Kennedy half dollar, look for key factors that influence its value. These include the coin's luster, strike quality, and any signs of wear. Coins that have been well-preserved with minimal contact marks are highly prized by collectors. Proof coins, distinguished by their mirror-like finish and sharp details, are particularly sought after. These were made at the San Francisco Mint and bear the S Mint mark. Regular coins from 1989 were produced at both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints and will have either no mint mark or a D Mint mark respectively. To summarize, the 1989 Kennedy half dollar is a great piece for any collection. While its value might not be sky high, its historical significance and beautiful design make it a cherished item. Whether you come across one in your pocket change or buy a proof set, this coin is a wonderful reminder of a pivotal time in American history. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel name for more coin history and valuation guides. Drop a comment below if you have a 1989 Kennedy half dollar or any questions about it. Happy collecting!